Hey, today I will be reviewing the Happy Nuts Prostate Cancer Screening Test. Um, it is marketed as a simple and easy test, gives you information on critical biomarkers that allow for the early detection of prostate cancer. It is a non-invasive at-home early detection test. As you guys know, huge fan of anything that you can do from home to simplify uh, taking care of your health. So we're going to dive right in. Um, nice little box that it comes in. So you open it up, it has, and I'm gonna block that off. It's got a little QR code um, to get started. It's also got everything you need in a bag here. It's got the bag that, um, blood sample return bag and a UPS um, drop box or UPS little mailing return label. So I'll put this um, on the side and it says, place this completed sample inside the box when you're done. Um, there's a QR code because I'm filming this on my phone. I'm just going to go to the website and it is going to walk me through it. So, um, website's right on the card there. Got to create an account. All right, so creating an account was super easy. I just put in my email address and, um, filled in some stuff. Now I'm going to create a patient profile. All right. Once your profile is created, it's going to ask you to activate your kit. So if you, um, you got the, it tells you to bring up the little QR code. The kit code is actually above the QR code is what I'm seeing here. Like I said, I had blocked that out so no one else can activate my stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and take that code in. And once you uh, complete the kit number, you just need to check that you have abstained from sexual activity for at least 48 hours, collecting the sample within three hours of waking up. I just woke up about an hour ago, not participated in any he heavy exercises for at least 24 hours prior to taking this test. I worked out yesterday morning, 18 years or older, if that's true. I will sh ship my sample back on the same day as collection. Great, and that you're ready to collect your sample now. And said, please do not proceed beyond this screen unless you're ready to collect your sample right now. So I'm going to press continue. Okay, this says preparing for the test. It tells me what's in my kit. We've got the <clears throat> lancets, which are these bad boys. They got these three. They've got the collection device, which is. <clears throat> This one right here, you can put that in the box. We've got an alcohol pad. We give you three of those. A band aid. Uh, the sample bag. And the return envelope. So everything in my kit um, that's listed here is on there. So I'm going to scroll down. It says here's what's next. It says continue to hydration. So it says, please drink 16 ounces of water. Hold please. So 16 ounces of water, bottoms up. <laughs> so they say they want you to drink the 16 ounces of water just so you're well hydrated and helps with the blood flow. Uh, now it says you're hydrated. We'll offer some hand warming tips to open up your capillaries. So we're gonna continue to hand warming. Sure, your hands are warmed up for as much as possible. Warm water will help get open up your capillaries and get your blood flowing. And it says that you want to run your hand under warm warm water for one minute. I'll be back in one minute. All right, hands are nice and warmed up. Now we're gonna get a quick exercise in to ensure my blood flow is optimal as possible. So we're gonna to continue to exercise. So let's do some moderate exercise for two minutes, quick jumping jacks. Um, you wanna do some of these. So I'm gonna do two minutes of jumping jacks. Whew. Two minutes of jumping jacks. There's a lot, that's only a minute. All 
All right. That was a little under two minutes. That is no joke, jumping jacks for two minutes. Um, it also recommends that your heart rate gets over 100 beats per minute. Currently sitting at 129, so I think I'm good. So it says continue to preparation. Then there's a little video to watch here. So the video basically just walks you through. I want you using your ring finger, because that's usually the least calloused. I want you to wipe your finger with the provided alcohol swab. That's just to disinfect the area. Okay. By touching the collection material, remove the collection device and place it in face up in the table. I've already put it in this box here. Twist and remove the cap on your lancet. It's now ready to use, so I'm just going to twist that. I do not like these things. And once you're done there, then you move on to I'm ready to use the lancet. All right, so before I do this, this is going to be the collection device, as I showed here. I'm going to drop blood into the, where the arrow is, and it needs to fill up to at least that... Uh, red line. I'll show you guys once it's done as well. So a little, a little video here. So we're going to take the lancet. They say to put it on either side of your finger. Like this. This is always fun to watch myself on the playback. All right, and here we go. All right, so truthfully, my the blood flow in my fingers is not always great, but it looks like we have filled up to the red line, or the black line. So we'll move forward with this. It says ready to return my sample. We need to let this sample dry for 30 minutes. Then after that, we're going to put the sample in the sample bag. We're not gonna remove the contents of the bag and place the sample back into the box. Uh, put the box in the return envelope and drop it off at UPS. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna let this dry for 30 minutes and then we'll check back in. All right, so I let it sit for 30 minutes to dry as indicated and you will see that it did definitely get past that black line. So we should be good to go. Um, my next step is to um, put it in the sample bag. There's like those silica gel type things in here um, that you find like beef jerky, the forbidden jerky, if you will. So I'll open this up. Just basically place it in here. Want to make sure we don't take anything out. Put in here, this just helps it stay stabilized while it's trans, um, while it is uh, in transport. So I seal the bag, it's just like a Ziploc thing on the top. I put it in here. I'm gonna put the top back on. And then put it in the prepaid envelope, drop off at UPS, UPS Dropbox. Take this off. Seal that up nice and tight. Um, and so then I drop it off at UPS today. It's important to drop it off on the same day it was collected. Um, and then we just, it says in two days, they'll get my sample. And in seven business days, I'll have the results. Um, so I will update the video description uh, 
with the results um, in my final experiences with it. Then it says once I'm finished, click here, return back to the dashboard. And then back on the dashboard, it just has that the test has been activated. So I'll be able to check on the status from here. So overall easy process. Um, reminds me of some of the other at-home blood tests I've done. Personally, um, I like it. I'm uh, Even though I said I'm not great with blood flow in my fingers, still is much more convenient than going to the doctor. And you know, anything that we can do to make healthcare more convenient is great. So looking forward to the results. Um, and like I said, I'll update uh, when I have an update. So. so it has been about a week since I sent in the blood test and my results are in the portal. Um, just as they screen for one critical biomarker that's commonly associated with prostate cancer. Um, and they just have a little message from the doctor who's in charge of the program. Press continue um, and it will give you results. It says that I have a very low PSA level, which is good. PSA is kind of what measures if you may or may not have. Um, it's a good biomarker for prostate cancer. So good results here. Um, it also has various other details, just gives you a little bit more of um, reportable range. It says reportable range is zero to 20 ng milliliters, mine's 0.25. So mine's on the very, very low end. Um, target range is less than four uh, ng per milliliter. So well below that, which is good. Also gives you some health recommendations. Mine just says I'm doing great. So just continue talking to my doctor, making sure different lifestyles. And it also gives you a bunch of resources at the end. Also gives you a PDF that you can give to your clinician. Um, so you might be able to um, skip one blood test. So like I've said a couple times, this was an easy process. I wanna say thank you to Happy Nuts for letting me try this out. Um, they do a lot in the men's health space, specifically with uh, prostate cancer, a lot of research. So I highly recommend that company. Um, overall, easy process from start to finish. You know, took maybe, it definitely less than an hour. Um, and then I had results in about a business week. Um, so until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.